Uh, today I'm at Rossfield Farm, going to have a look at the robots in action. This is uh, some of the Scottish seed potatoes. Never actually seen that variety before. Golden Wonder, all different kinds. Romano, so that's the Ziri. And uh, Tara. Thanks, Joe. Ah, it's quite interesting to see this looking. Ah, you are. So you got two of the one? Ah, uh, two. Get in this way. Right. So it's different to that. It's not that. Uh, well, it's the same idea. Uh huh. Just in a enclosed cage. Right. Yeah, this is fixed, this is fixed to this. This could build two pallets, one on either side, but we only need one pallet. One pallet gets tied down, takes up two pallets. Right. So we put a couple of wee nets in there, a couple of barbs. How do you use them? Well, that machine is a collator. Right. Uh, Fold in the wee two kilo nets inside the paper bags. Alright, oh, so they're actually two kilos. Machine, that machine's making the bags over there. Right. Uh, before it was all pan tied nets, uh -huh. just to and weigh them you know, by hand, sew them, fold them in by hand. You need about six men and robots and collators just done away with, well, there's only two of us here. You just need somebody just in case you get a bus bag or right, right. take pallets away, keep ties in, just need somebody. So no, it's all automatic, so uh -huh. you don't really need anybody. So these bags were actually in boxes earlier on. Aye, right? we bag them up whether we need them. Uh, obviously, if I wanted them in boxes, you need a box tipper. And you right. keep tipping them in manually. Whether they're a big bag, you can untie the bottom and it's just self feed. Right. So you don't need anybody. Years ago, it was all oh, hundred weight bags. Uh huh. Obviously, you had to undo the stitch and pour them in by hand. Right. So there's, and it's manual work. All these pallets get stripped down and put on orders for going away. It's all manual work, like, right, it's like, it's just took most of the manual work away, like. Right. So was it because you're difficult to get in people, really? Uh, uh, most as well. Aye. Cost, really, it's rubber. Aye, uh, uh, reliable. 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 Yeah. Men. Robot never has a day off. No. Well, not usually, anyway. No. Unless something happens, but right. Nah, it's fine, like. What sort of money is in one of these? Uh, that was a repurposed one we got. Uh, I mean, I think a brand new one's about 60,000. Uh, that's a repurposed one. Uh, right. Purchased from the RM group. They repurposed them and programmed them. That was the hand off a old robot with a Fuji robot. And uh, we traded it in and got an ABB robot. Right, uh, it's a lot quieter, it's a lot simpler to work. You can basically put a pallet in that's already been started and just put the layer and the bag number in and it'll start for layer 10 or layer 5. So, or is this the pallet just not finished? No, it's what actually starting the pallet. Right, 50 on a pallet, get 50 bags on a pallet. Right, <laughs> whatever you program it in the robot. I'm building in uh, my 50s on a pallet. Uh -huh. Before you need somebody sewing the bags, somebody getting you into the bags, filling the eight bags into the bags. Uh, it's all automated. You know. Just the way, I mean, you're a big operation anyway. How oh, many acres do you do in a year? It's mere tons. Tons? Uh, uh, Good, probably about 150 tons through this since uh, the new year. What are we? 15th today or 16th? We're halfway through anyway. Uh, we'll, 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 do about 100, we'll do about 160 tons today so far. That's 
two kilo nets, Ryan two kilo nets. Takes about uh, 18 minutes to do a ton and a quarter bag. And, uh, we're doing sort of 25 to 27 bags a minute. So this man here, he's it's, just taking off. What are you doing? Ah, uh, not really. Just the bags are I'm coming. Tell, I'm not telling that. No, no, no. No, you need somebody over there in case you get the bottom of my bags not being sealed right. It's all heat seals, you see. Right. And if you get a bag that the seal's gone, you've got 30, 40 tatties all getting counted through that machine. Uh -huh. And obviously it counts what it sees, so it count a bag wrong and you'd end up only getting two nets in a bag. Or Right, just there for just a backup. I mean, I would not always be standing there just kind of checking it, but I'm just uh, what's these lights here? Right, well, if you walk by there, that'll stop the light guards. Right, so that you can't don't go in there and get your heat knocked off with the robot. Right, why yeah, try it? The sensor's like, why try it? Uh, I've tried it. All right, it's all right. I do it when I, I drive in with a pot lift. Just don't, just don't go by them. I'll take your word for it. I'll shut the whole operation down. Right, oh well, no way to do that. <laughs> That's basically that part. <laughs> I don't know if bag place it, see it puts the bags on. That machine pumps them into the, into the bags. This is where it all starts. That is basically what they are. So have they, have they been brittle? They've been graded out. I've I've seen graded out. They're all sized. 35 by 55. Course, they'd have to be of course high. You get that at this size. Right, you go up there, you go up there step, you'll see that machine automatically weighs two kilos. It picks to the nearest two kilo and dumps whatever buckets it wants. Right, and this machine here uh, basically makes its own bag between the red film and the film on the side. It welds it together with heat. It's a vertical. Okay, it's horizontal, uh, vertical packer. And what's the other line? Is that it's something the same as this? We're going to have two lines going. Uh, if we're rolling in, we get a lot of stuff done. Right. Uh, you say about 50 bags, 50 to 55 bags a minute. Uh, but it's just... If we're using it in smaller bags, it's got a tuber counter on it. We're doing five tatties in a net. We're doing two kilos a day, so on the one machine today. So these are orders you have in? Aye, uh, I'll just have to start right. the plan. I'll just let you see that it doesn't always go across the plan. Aye. <coughs> uh, I've been a bad bag. Aye, sometimes the odd wood that the factory sees, right? Sometimes you get a pile of the odd glues all stuck together. And this is what happens. Take six or eight bags through it. Right. So that one's nappy as well, is it? That's all. That's all. It's been really. Well, that yeah. happens now and again, obviously. Aye. You do need some days. I mean, it doesn't run I've done that for uh, three or four hundred bags, really. Right, right. It does happen. It does happen. It's picked up. Well done with air suction, you see. Is that the, the bags are the way? When that gets finished, that drops down. It's all automatic. It right. always went to move. Right. I want that program. How oh, the mate brings in that. It's great. It's oh, right. rather different program. Uh, right. How it's made. Really good. So I see you've had it. Had a load of money this week, is it? Oh, oh, aye, well, I've been. What's your last Thursday? I've had about eight or ten loads away this week. Uh, I was just never just seen Ian's picture yesterday when he was walking the arm. Right. Oh, aye, we've been sending away since November. Is that right? Uh, well, we'll be at the quarter of the way through the season now. Uh -huh. uh, we've kept thousands of tons away. Thousands. Thousands. Oh, it was a good season. Oh, aye, aye, we've had a good season. 
Well, it's, it's dusty dry as you can see. Yes, uh, I was here doing the harvest. You know. yeah, busy, we were busy December, January. That's right. a busy time. So when did you start following it after the uh, sort of market time? So it's dry, you know. Uh, uh, plant when? Uh, April, May. April, May. Right. Certainly enough to see. Uh, you know what? You don't need to yeah, We don't need their size. A lot of people, well, these are all going way down south. A lot of them are chipping them and ready to put them in greenhouses and grow them in the garden. Right. That's the way back to the country now. Actually, I had a look at your website today to see what was happening. That's right, yeah. Aye. So, uh, first time I've been on, I think. Aye. It's quite interesting just to uh, come and have a look. Aye. It's not that noise, is it? It's not too bad. Just all the packing noise. Aye. And all the earphones and the train, like, right, all of them. What have you here all the time? Aye. Really it gets a bit kind of dry and dry and that ringing noise in your ears. I've got that, I've got, I've got that when I go to bed. Aye. Honestly, you can't do it. Nah, nah, that's half the earphones then, mate. Nah, that's not what you go to bed, you just hear the hissing noise all the time. Nah, stick in the computer. Leave printer box on the side. So you're basically in here. Because in the winter time you're, oh, I, you're in here like all of December, January, February, a wee bit of November now. It's getting earlier every year now. So when do people place their order? Uh, through the summer. Through the summer. Uh, that's the problem. You don't know what kind of lifting time you've got to have. Right. You don't know what sort of crops you've got to get. Uh -huh. uh, you used to do it on... Uh, Lost really with the weather, right? It's all weather dependent, how are you? Right, skin finish and dry ice, keeping blight off the crops, virus off the crop. Oh, I see they're, they're well, you see, go to the big lens to get everything right. Try and get as perfect as you can. Some crops, some varieties are very difficult to grow. Uh, very old fashioned, you know, a lot of people just stop growing and a lot of the body job orders there are still run. Right, so we want to got plates and scepters and what you know, one rows and bars and all the old varieties basically. But you've got quite a lot of varieties anyway. Right. Uh, one, uh, I just forget what it is. Every bars are different varieties. Right? The thick ones are first early, but they're green for the main crops. All the yellows are second early. They're just what comes off the line every time we change a variety. So when are they actually inspected? Uh, when you're inspected? Aye, there was a man here yesterday. Right. He was busy inspecting them. They'll be here three or four times a week. Just inspecting right. everything that's going out. Everything's got to have a inspection and a ticket number on before you right. can sell it. Uh, so, uh, so who's the gentleman here? What's his name? Uh, John. Uh, I'll uh, turn down there. <laughs> what I'm going to try to do this year get to know people. Alright. Rather, I'll go back. Who the hell is that? So, uh, so the varieties we've got. Right. So I'm working my way through this. I'm at uh, I'm here now. Right. I've done all, I've done all that. I'll we'll get there. Uh, it must take a, a lot of organisation, but uh, it's obviously it's just one. Eh? The other kids, the same. They've got the same bit of paper. They're doing the bulk side, right. pressing bags. Uh -huh. Knowing what to do and knowing how enough in big bags to put through the line here. Yeah. Enough to keep for bagging next door. Just put the bag through yeah. Right. Again, like some just keep working through them. Stay in the catch with the pallets and the low ones are easy to look through the shed. Right. 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 Here we have a grey fergie in the foreground here. That's the sprayer tractor 4270. Power shuttle with the sprayer on it. <laughs> 